Hey, welcome to the second match of the second night of the 40th year of the Frederick County Public Schools Academic Tournament. My name is Eric Reichel. I will be your moderator tonight. I want to thank Bess Trakonsky and her lovely husband, Frank, and Kelly Meisner. Uh, for a great job getting this all set up and ready to go. And great job on the tech stuff, knock on wood, for sure. Okay. We're starting with TJ High School today. Uh, first match, and this is round one, a grab bag, six questions on a variety of topics, one up for a correct answer, no points off if it's incorrect. TJ, would you please introduce yourselves and tell me which of you will be the captain this round? Well, I guess I'll go first. I'm Colin Jones. And everybody else, introduce yourselves. Say your name. I'm Ben Marshall. I'm Harmony Clark, and I'll be the captain. You can okay. Uh, Elliot? Right. Oh, I thought, can you hear me? Yep, we can. Okay, sorry. I thought I introduced myself. I'm Elliot Anderson. Oh, very good. Okay, and Harmony's the captain for this round. Harmony, would you like packet A, B, or X? Um, B. B. You got it. <clears throat> okay, question one. Of Arthur Miller, Eugene O'Neill, or Thornton Wilder, who wrote an innovative play called Our Town, set in Grover's Corners, New Hampshire? Anyone? Miller, I guess. Uh, no, um, I guess Arthur Miller, but I have no idea. All right, um, we'll go with Miller, final answer. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's Thornton Wilder. Thornton Wilder for our town. Question two. In 1919, England's Lloyd George, Italy's Orlando, France's Clemenceau, and Woodrow Wilson of the United States all met at the famous conference to develop a treaty concluding World War I. In what French town, famed for its palace, did they meet? Versailles, right? Versailles, yeah, go for Versailles. Versailles, final answer. That is correct. Good. Question three. What is it called when a bowler makes three strikes in a row or a golfer makes three birdies in a row? It's the same name as the favorite feast for Americans on Thanksgiving. Turkey, final answer. Yes, it is a turkey. I've had a few of those. Not in real golf, just, just golf. Question four. In which state of the United States would you find Fort Knox? Uh, Kentucky? Tennessee. Tennessee or Kentucky? Um, yeah. Wait, what did you say, Colin? Tennessee, Tennessee or Kentucky. Kentucky or Tennessee? I'll go with uh, Tennessee, final answer. I'm sorry, it's Kentucky. Sorry. Oh. Question five. When colorless solutions of lead to nitrate and potassium iodide are combined, a yellow precipitate is formed. What is the formula of this compound? Um, I would say lead iodate. Yeah, lead iodate, final answer. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's incorrect. I've got the formula of this compound is P, capital P, B, capital I, 2. I don't know chemistry, so I can't tell you if that's your answer is right or wrong, but I'm going to say no for now. And question six. What day is officially labeled Star Wars Day? May the 4th. Yeah, May the 4th, final answer. Yes, May the 4th. That's for my son, Jamie, whose birthday is May the 4th as well. That, that completes round one. Okay, round two, Colin, Ray, Naman, Elliot. I see four. Very good, okay. Round two. Uh, uh, I guess I'll introduce myself since this is my first time uh, on stage tonight. I am Ray Wong. Uh, Naman, would you introduce yourself? I'm Naman Johnny. And me and Elliot are going to be staying. And who will be the captain? I'll be a captain this round. Count, count captain again. Very good. Okay. Or count captain this time, right? All right. Round two is a math round. Two math questions. Remember, you get 30 seconds to answer the math question. Ms. Meisner will tell you when you have five seconds left. The other two uh, non-math questions, regular time. One up for a right answer, one off for a wrong answer. Question one, math. Multiply and simplify the following complex numbers. 5i minus 9 and 6 minus 4i. Begin time.
I have my answer. Anyone else? I do too. I got negative 20 I squared plus 66 I minus 54. You got to simplify. You got to simplify, though. Like, if you have I squared, and then, if you have I squared, you need to simplify it into real. Hey, what do you yeah. get, real? That would be then negative. Uh, I, got minus, I, I got minus 34 minus 6 I. No. It's that's, five, the, five, five. that's the final answer? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll use that. Uh, well, I didn't hear the correct answer anywhere in there. Did you, Kelly? No. No, the answer was 66i minus 34. That was incorrect. <clears throat> Question two. The works of Leonardo da Vinci spanned a number of decades. Aside from the Mona Lisa, this is certainly his most famous painting. It was painted for the refectory of the convent of Santa Maria della Gassia in Milan. Unfortunately, he used a tempera over a surface that was subject to mold and flaking, and the painting deteriorated very rapidly. Name this painting that features Jesus Christ flanked by many followers. The Last Supper, uh, anybody else? Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, I'll go with The Last Supper. That is correct. And it is quite a painting. Question three, math. Solve the following equation for x. Give all real solutions. x minus 18 equals 3 times the square root of x. Begin time. Five seconds remaining. Time, answer please. No response. Uh, X equals 36. X equals 36. Question four. This executive department of the US government manages about 75% of federal public land. The National Park Service is part of this governmental department. Name it. Uh, that would be the interior right department right interior. department interior that is correct uh, and by the way these questions were written in september so if they don't reflect the current uh situation then that, that is well that is correct and that completes round two okay round three colin elliot ben jonah did jonah ever make it i don't think he did he's in the other meeting nobody's in there now no he oh. is Jonah's here, looks like. Okay, good. Jonah made it. Okay. Jonah, you have to have your camera on and your microphone on. Ben, Colin, Elliot. Thank you. All right. Very good. So we're set, I think. Round three, a pre-announced category round, Empires and Emperors. Would you please introduce yourselves and tell me who the captain will be this round? Uh, I'll be captain this round. Okay, Colin. And Everybody else, introduce yourself. Say your name and say hi. I'm Ben Marshall. Uh, I'm Jonah. Do it again, Elliot. I'm Elliot again. There we go. All right. Round three. Question one. This emperor started his rule in a most embarrassing fashion. After the previous emperor and his family were killed, the future emperor was found quivering behind a set of curtains, fearing for his own life. The soldiers dragged him out, recognized him, and hailed him as emperor. He turned out to be an efficient emperor, bringing relative peace to Rome with the restoration of the rule of law, built a new harbor at Ostia, completed the conquest of Mauritania, and conquered Britain. Name this emperor who died by eating poisoned mushrooms. Uh, I know Severus was part of the conquest in Britain, but I don't know. Yeah. Time. Response, please. Uh, error. Uh, it's Claudius. Claudius. Yeah. Question two. This man was a populist politician and brilliant military strategist who overthrew a corrupt republic and crowned himself dictator for life. Name this famous Roman leader who crossed the Rubicon with his troops, thus declaring open rebellion against Rome. Now be Julius Caesar. Anybody check? All right, Julius Caesar is fine. That is correct, yep. And question three. This empire is one of the most important ancient civilizations in Southeast Asia and largely ruled parts of modern day Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, and Southern Vietnam. The rise of the empire was mainly because of their belief in the Deva Raja or God King. 
The largest religious monument on the planet, Angkor Wat, is part of this empire's history. Name it. Uh, you guys know? I'm blanking. The Burma Empire? The Burmese? I don't know. Time. You know, Burmese Empire. No, the Khmer's. K-H-M-E-R. Khmer Empire. And that completes round three. All right, Harmony, Colin, Ray, Riley. Hey, Jonah, you just have to turn your camera off, man. Oh. Or leave. <laughs> okay, <we can> harmony, <laughs> harmony, Cohen. All right. And I'll be captain this round. Thanks, Harmony. Good. Riley, turn your camera on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Round four, grab bag round. Seven questions on a variety of topics. One up for a right answer, one off for a wrong answer. Would you introduce yourselves one more time, Harmony? I know you're going to be the captain. Just introduce yourselves one more time, please. Um, my name is Harmony Clark. I'm Colin Jones. I'm Ray Wong. I'm Riley Adams. Excellent. Okay, here we go, ladies and gents. Question one. Give the genus and species name for the gray wolf. Does anyone know? Lupus something. Lupus. Oh, boy. Gray <laughs> lupus. Gray lupus, final answer. Uh, canis lupus, so you had half of it. Uh, Question two. This is a famous quote. Name the play it comes from. Neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. It's a Shakespeare play, and the lead character has more lines than any other Shakespeare character. Name the play. I think it's Hamlet. I think it's Hamlet, too. Yeah, Sounds right. Great. Hamlet, final answer. That is correct. Question three. This island is divided among three countries. Brunei and Malaysia own the north, and Indonesia owns the south. 15,000 species of flowering plants and 3,000 species of trees, along with over 200 species of mammal, make up this third largest island in the world. Name it. I'm thinking either like Java or Sumatra, uh, Sumatra or something like those. I can't tell which one it is, though. I, th I feel like it's Java. I'm not sure, though. Go, Wait, go, with, Java. go with Java. Go with what? Java. Java. All right, Java, final answer. I'm sorry, it's Borneo. Borneo is the mm -hmm. answer for that one. <clears throat> Question four. This 2005 novel is the most famous by Australian author Marcus Zazu, uh, Zuzak, Zuzak, and focuses on the young orphan named Liesel who arrives at the home of her foster parents unable to read. Name the novel. Um, anyone? I don't Time. know. No response. The Book Thief. The Book Thief. Question five. Thomas Hendricks and Adelaide Stevenson both served as vice president under this man. They did so during each of his non-consecutive terms. Name this U.S. president. Grover Cleveland. Cleveland. Right, yeah, okay, Cleveland, final answer. That is correct. Question six. This question requires a two-part answer. The B&O in B&O Railroad stands for a city and a state. Name them both. Um, Baltimore and... I thought it was something Baltimore from Oregon. Ohio. Baltimore and Ohio. Baltimore and Ohio. Sure. What? Baltimore Answer. and Ohio. Response, please. Baltimore and Ohio. That is correct. That's correct. Oh. Good. Yeah. Question seven. Every state has a state bird. Name the bird that serves as a state bird of seven states, the most of any bird. It is known for its striking bright red plumage on the male bird. Name it. Cardinal. 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 Yeah. Cardinal, final answer. That is correct. That's my mom's favorite bird. So that one's for you, mom. And that completes the round for TJ. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, TJ. Coach, we'll uh, contact you. All right. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Plus score next, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey, Big E, did you get that uh, Claudius question from I, Claudius? I did not. I, I'm, I own that book and I have not read it. So. I'm way behind. The TV series is great too with uh, uh yes, the old one, right? 70s? Old one, yeah. Derek Jacoby is Claudia yeah. and uh, yeah. John Hart is Caligula. And oh my yeah. god, he he like Caligula is insane. I mean just I like, would enjoy that. 
nuts. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I, can, I can imagine. I, what would it be like living under a nuts leader? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really not sure. I wonder. It would be quite the experience, I think, to live under a, a sort of, you know, unhinged sort of fellow. Hey, Kelly. What's the first math question? Okay, so we're on uh, Tuscora next, right? Okay. And here we go. All right, Tuscora High School. I see one, two, three students. I see the coach. Waiting for one. Oh, there's one, two, three, four. And then there's more than there's more than four. We need four people only, <gasps> Meredith. Four people with cameras on. Cameras and microphones only. Oh, okay. So Tish, Chloe, um, Emily, and Logan, you should have your cameras on. I'll get it. <laughs> Logan, hey, yeah, Logan, make sure your camera's on. And Chloe, camera on, please. Yes. At three. Okay, Definitely. only if you're in this round should you have your camera on. So oh. Chloe, Emily, Logan, and Tish. There we go. Got the four. And your camera's off, Meredith, and we're all set. Okay. Before I forget, um, Tuscarora, my fiance, Ms. Colombo, says to say hello. Shout out to the Tuscarora students. I know she's got something in class right now. So. Go Titans! Yeah, you heard that. I have Ms. Okay. Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> she's having fun. Okay. Um, round one is a grab bag round of six questions. One up for a right answer, no points off for a wrong answer. Um, Please introduce yourselves and identify which of you will be the captain for this round. Each person identify themselves, please. Um, I'll go first. My name is Emily and I am the captain for this round. Thank you, Emily. Hi, I'm Logan. And hi, I'm Tish. One more person. One other person who has to do, introduce himself? Well, maybe not. Chloe, okay. oh, okay. Um, oh, we're missing one again. It, well, yeah, Chloe's mic isn't working. So um, can I have, um, Liam, can you log in for this one? Chloe's back. So, sorry. Oh, are you kidding? These things are gonna happen. There's no worries there. Maybe not. Okay, can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, I'm Chloe Leonard. Excellent, Chloe. Okay, um, who's the captain? Is Emily, right? Emily, would you choose packet A or packet X? Packet X, please. It is, and these questions in round one, like I said, grab bag, one up for right answer, no points off for a, round, a wrong answer. Question one, what type of race is the famous Tour de France? Bike, isn't it biking yeah, guys? It's yes, bike. Um, final, answer, final, final answer is biking. That is correct. Question two, name one of the actresses who make up the Monterey Five. Does anybody have any idea? Any guesses? Never heard. Me neither. Um, any Time. Other? No answer. Okay. Um, Reese, Reese Witherspoon, Nicole Kidman, Shalene Woodley, Laura Dern, and Zoe Kravitz. Question three. On January 30th, 1933, President Paul von Hindenburg appointed this man as Chancellor of Germany. Name him. Adolf Hitler. Final answer, Adolf Hitler. That is correct. Question four. This literary passage was written by whom? Passage reads, 
During all this time, Hester stood statue-like at the foot of the scaffold. Name the author. Do we have any guesses, guys? No. No answer. Nathaniel Hawthorne from uh, The Scarlet Letter. Question five. This question requires a two-part answer. Only two U.S. capital cities rhyme. One is the capital of Texas, one the capital of Massachusetts. Please name both. Houston and Boston. Um, you guys agree with that one? Final answer, Houston and Boston? Sorry, Austin, Texas. Austin and Boston. Houston, that was a kind of tricky one, wasn't it? <clears throat> Question six, multiple choice. A 1,000 kilogram car is moving at 10 meters per second around a circular track with a radius of 10 meters. What is the centripetal acceleration of the car? Is it A, zero, B, 10,000 meters per second squared, C, 10 meters per second squared, D, five meters per second squared? What do we think, guys? My guess is B. Answer. Final answer, B. I'm sorry, it's C, 10 meters per second squared. And that completes round one. Okay, thank you guys. I need Jerem, Travis, Brent, and Loris. One, two, three, four. I see four. Excellent. Okay. Everybody's ready to roll. Round two, math round. Two math questions, two non math questions. On the math questions, reminder you get uh, 60 seconds and, and uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> I just think I remember that after all these years. 30 seconds, and uh, Ms. Meisner will give you a hint uh, that there's five seconds left. So you got to get that within the time. Okay. Would you please introduce yourselves and identify who will be the captain for this round? I'm Jerem, and I'm the captain for this round. I'm, I'm Travis. Uh, good evening. My name is Loris. One more. Brent. Excellent. All right. Very good. And Jerem's the captain. All right. Question one, math. Multiply and simplify the following complex numbers. 9i plus 2 and 4i plus 5. Begin time. I got negative 26 plus 53 I. Me too. Can you guys, Brent and same. You? Yeah, same. Got it. Final, final answer, negative 26 plus 53 I. That is correct. Thank you, Kelly, for the thumbs up. I was pretty sure that was right, but question two. To the shrine of what famous martyr are the pilgrims traveling in Geoffrey Chaucer's classic, The Canterbury Tales? He was also known as St. Thomas of Canterbury. Name him. I have no idea. Uh, Peter? Final answer, Peter? I'm sorry, Thomas Beckett or Thomas of Beckett? Question three, math. Solve the following equation for x. Give all real solutions. x plus seven times the square root of x equals negative 10. Begin time. I get negative 10. Are there any other solutions that you can think of? Five seconds remaining. Negative 10, final answer. I'm um, sorry, that's incorrect. No real solutions for that one. And question four. As more medical schools began to crop up in the 20th century and the study of anatomy grew exponentially, the need for hands-on work with dissecting 
caused a major uptick in this crime, most associated with Victor Frankenstein. It's like corpse stealing with, with stealing bodies. Grave robbing. What is grave rob or final final answer? Grave robbing. Grave robbing, body snatching, court snatching, any of those would have worked. That's fine, Jeremy. Yes. And that completes round two. Okay. I need Nora, Billy, Jerem, and Ibrahim. One, two, three, four. All right, very good. Round three, empires and emperors, pre-announced category. Um, three questions on this very specific subject. Would you please introduce yourselves and tell me who the captain will be in this round? I'm Jerem, I'm the captain again. Thanks, Jerem. I'm Nora. I'm Billy. I'm Ibrahim. All right, here we go. Question one. This man never wanted to be emperor, but his path was chosen by his domineering mother, Livia. He ended up ruling for 23 years and chose to live in self-imposed exile rather than deal with his mother. Name this emperor who was forced to divorce his wife, Vispania Agrippa, and who died at age 77 on the island of Capri. Is this, this is either Napoleon or Alexander the Great. I want to go with Napoleon. Yeah. Final answer, Napoleon. I'm sorry, it's Tiberius. Tiberius. And Lydia, that's um, Tony Soprano's mother. That's not an accident, is it? That's... That's interesting. Question two. There is no doubt of this man's status as one of history's great leaders, but it sometimes seems he's identified more for his diminutive stature. He identified himself as a Corsican and fought for Corsican independence early in his life. He seized power in France through a series of battlefield victories and became first consul and was then crowned emperor of France. Name this man who was sentenced to exile on the remote island of St. Helena. Napoleon. This one's Napoleon, yeah. The yeah. final answer, Napoleon Bonaparte. There is. <laughs> Question three. This empire was the largest contiguous land empire in world history. Founded in 1206, it included territories from Southeast Asia to Eastern Europe. The light compound bow used by their army had great range and power and helped them conquer slower and heavier armies of the times. Due to its immense size, it only lasted for about 150 years, which is not long empire-wise. Name this Asian empire. It's the, the Mongols. Yeah. Final answer, Mongol Empire. That is correct, and that completes round three. Good job. Excellent. I need Liam, Riley, Crystal, and Allison. All right, I'm Liam, and I'm the captain. Excellent, Liam. I'm Riley. I'm Allison. I'm Crystal. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we've got round four, seven questions on a variety of topics. Here we go. One up for right answer, one off for wrong answer. Question one. This peninsula in northwestern Mexico is separated from the Mexican mainland by the Gulf of California and the Colorado River. Name it. I don't have any guesses. So... Time. Um, say that again, Liam. I don't have anything. Uh, the Baja Peninsula. Baja Peninsula. Question two. This prolific author wrote or edited over 500 books in his career. Name this man who was a professor of biochemistry at Boston University and is best known for the Foundation series. He is also known for his robot books and the three laws of robotics. Name this famous American writer. Um. George Orwell, does anyone, does anyone have any guesses? I don't have any guesses. Time. Final answer, George Orwell. With a shot right now, it's Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov. <clears throat> Question three. Known as a polywog in British English, this is the larval stage in the life cycle of a frog or toad. Oh, is it tadpole? <laughs> yeah, like a tadpole, isn't it? Final answer, tadpole. It is fun to watch the light bulbs go off over your heads like, wait a minute, I know that one. <laughs> Question four. The first U.S. president to not serve as vice president was this man. Liam. Oh, Final oh. answer, George Washington. Thanks, Liam. I hate it when people miss that question because it could be considered a trick <laughs> question, but it is a fair question, right? Yes, of course, he was yeah. not the vice president. Yes, so well done. Question five. 
Flotsam and Jetsam are two of my favorite names from minor Disney characters. They are eel sidekicks to the half-woman, half-octopus sea witch Ursula in what classic Disney film? The Little Mermaid. Yes, you got it. Final answer, a Little Mermaid. Awesome, that's some, that's right. <laughs> Excellent. Question six. Servants Samson and Gregory encounter servants Abraham and Balthazar and bite their thumbs and engage in verbal and physical fighting. Benvolio tries to stop them, but then Tybalt appears and insists on a duel. Only when the oh. prince arrives are the families separated. Name the famous yeah. Shakespeare play. Is it Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Final answer, Romeo and Juliet. Yes, and you didn't need Capulets or Montagues or any of that. Good job. Question seven. This ecosystem is a geographical region in Africa. It stretches from northern Tanzania to southwestern Kenya and hosts the largest terrestrial mammal migration in the world. This region is known for being one of the world's best places to view lion prides in their natural environment. Name this region, whose name is derived from the Maasai word for endless plain. Would it be the Sahara? That would be a good yeah, guess. Yeah, I think you're on that one. All right, final answer, Sahara. I'm sorry, it's the Serengeti, the oh. Serengeti. And that completes the match for TJ. Nicely done. Thank you, Tuscarora. Oh, Tuscarora, excuse me, Tuscarora, TJ. Right. In about 15 minutes. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Same, Ms. Meisner. Oh, wants to join our call from outside. Uh oh. And it is somebody who's not using their FCPS account. Yeah. Okay. Put that back up. All right. We're rolling on the time at 6.02. Yep, let's keep going. I'm glad we're doing introductions. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's kind of spooky watching you in two different screens, Beth, I have to say. That's I know. Special. That's special. I know. I'm using my <laughs> Round one, go ahead, turn your, mic, your cameras and mics on. You know who you are. All right, I think I see one, two, three, four. I do. Oh, there's five. We only need four. Quite just round one. There we go. Okay, so we got our four on. Very good. Well, welcome to match two of night two of the 40th uh, year of Frederick County Public Schools. I'm your moderator, Eric Reichel. Welcome to Walkersville High School. Round one is a uh, six round grab bag round, um, one up for a right answer, none off for a wrong answer. You're ending up with packet A. Would you please introduce yourselves and identify who will be the captain for this round? My name is Alex Stitely. Uh I'm, I'm Solomon Chen. I'm Joshua Hildebrand. I'm Connor Bosco. I'm the captain of the round, and we would like to thank our four amazing coaches. They are, they are good guys, that's for sure. All right, excellent, Connor. Here we go. <clears throat> Question one. What was the first non-English language film to win the best picture at the Oscars? Parasite, right? Parasite. Yeah. Parasite, final answer. That was correct. First half of the film was a lot better than the second half, I thought, but that's just me. Question two. In what Shakespeare play do these lines appear? How now, good Cassio, and not now, sweet Desdemona, some other time? Othello, right? Uh, we'll go with it. Othello, final answer. That is correct. Question three. U.S. Air Force pilot Everett Alvarez was shot down, captured, and held for more than eight years as a prisoner of war. He was the first American POW of what conflict? Is it going to be like Vietnam? I think so. Okay. Uh, we'll go with the Vietnam War, final answer. Good. Yes, uh, I was hoping that the eight years would give it to you, and it did. Question four. The most dense metal is osmium at 22.6 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the mass of a 10 gram sample of osmium? What, what was the rate of it originally? 
And you say 22.6. Is it 226? Because it's just. Yeah, that's. Yeah. 226, final answer. That is correct. Excellent job. Question five Name this city in Turkey with a population of 14 million that connects the continents of Asia and Europe. Istanbul. Yeah. Istanbul, yeah. final answer. That's correct. Question six In what game is love a score? The game begins at love, love before the first serve. Name the sport. It's tennis. Yeah. Tennis, final answer. That is correct, and that completes round one. Well done. And we have one, two, three, four. Very good. Okay. Round two, math round. Two math questions, 30 seconds to answer the math question. Remember, um, Ms. Majna will give you a, uh, a warning when there's five seconds left. And then the two non-math questions, same timing as always. Would you please introduce yourselves and tell me who the captain will be in this round? Uh, I'm Vineet Ravishandran. I'm Liliana Grippy. Uh, I'm Solomon Chen. And I'm Chris Patel, and I'm the captain for this round. And I would like to thank all my teammates for helping us practice too. Very good. Always nice. Okay, we all set him. Here we go. Math. Question one. Multiply and simplify the following complex numbers. 6 plus 4i and 7i plus 8. Begin time. I got 74i plus 20. Plus 20, right? Yeah. That's what I got, too. I got 74i plus 20. I got 74 plus 20, yeah. Okay, 74i plus 20. I'm not sure. That is correct. Question two. Name the smallest blood vessels in the human body. Capillaries? The capillary. I feel like that's... I feel like that's right, yeah. Capillaries, final answer. That is correct. Question three, math. Solve the following equation for x. Give all real solutions. 14 times the square root of x equals x plus 45. Begin time. Five seconds remaining. Do, you have any uh, do we have anything? I didn't get it. So. Uh, Time? Plus or minus three. No, I'm sorry. X equals 25 and X equals 81. Question four. A modest proposal for preventing the children of poor people in Ireland from being a burden to their parents or country and for making them beneficial to the public. It was written by Jonathan Swift in 1729. It's a famous essay in what genre of literature which uses humor or irony to ridicule and expose? It's satire, bro. Yeah, satire. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, his, his proposal is for them to eat the children, right? So it's very satirical. That is correct. And that completes round two. <coughs> One, two, three. Okay, though, you're up. And there's four. Very good. Okay. Round three, pre-announced category, emperors and empires. Any questions? Uh, would you please introduce yourselves and identify who will be the captain for this round? I am Prusa Patel. I'm Aquila Ayayi. I'm Ruben Budimano. I'm Connor Bosco. I'm the captain of this round, and we would like to thank Mrs. Clark for helping us review our world history. Excellent. Love Mrs. Clark. She's awesome. Okay. Question one. 
This emperor is linked with the defensive frontier work in northern Britain, which dates from 122 CE. It ran for 73 miles and marked the northern boundary of the Roman Empire in Britain. Name the man responsible for this famous wall, who is considered the third of the five good emperors. Hadrian. Yeah. yeah. Hadrian, final answer. That is correct. Question two. This man was responsible for the deaths of as many as 40 million people. He unified the Mongol people and was able to challenge the powerful Jin dynasty in China. He had six wives and over 500 concubines, and geneticists estimate that 16 million men alive today are genetic descendants of this man. His last words reportedly were, I have conquered for you a large empire, but my life was too short to take the whole world. That I leave to you. Name this famous emperor. That's Genghis Khan. Yeah. yeah. Final answer. That's correct. Question three. The Chosan dynasty, also called the Yi dynasty, was the last and longest lived imperial dynasty of this country. It was founded by General Yi Song Yi and lasted from 1392 until 1910. This dynasty ended when Japan formally annexed the peninsula as a colony. Name this country. That's Korea. Korea, yeah. Korea, final answer. That is correct. You crushed that category. Well done. And that completes round three. Nice up. Good work, guys. Yep. And we have our four. All right. So we're all set then for round four. Uh, grab bag, seven questions, one up for a wrong, right answer, one down for a wrong answer. Would you please identify yourselves one last time, gentlemen, and identify who the captain be? I'm I'm, Con I'm Connor Bosco. I'm Ruben Guzmana. Uh, I'm Solomon Chen. I'm the captain of this round, and we'd like to thank our family and friends for supporting us. Very nice, Solomon. Here we go, then. Round four, question one. Most of this desert is sparsely populated. But there are several large cities located there, including St. George, Henderson, and Victorville. Name this desert known for its Joshua trees and for being the setting for Fallout New Vegas. It is primarily within southeastern California and southern Nevada. Name it. In Mojave. Mojave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mojave Desert, final answer. That is correct. Question two. This is the small mole-like mammal referenced in the title of a Shakespearean comedy. Name it. The shrew. Uh, shrew. The shrew. True, final answer. That is correct. Question three. The orca is more commonly known by this more violent sounding name. Uh, killer whale, right? Yep, killer, killer whale. whale. Yeah. yeah. Killer whale, final answer. That is correct. Question four. Snoopy in the Peanuts comic strip often pretended his doghouse was a Sopwith Camel aircraft, and he regularly had imaginary battles with this World War I German flying ace. Manfred von Richthofen was more widely known by this mysterious and noble-sounding name. Red, Red Baron. Baron, right? Red Baron. Yep. Red Baron, final answer. Correct. That was a fun question to write. Question five. This mountain in the Alps straddles the border between Switzerland and Italy. The first ascent of this mountain was completed in 1865, but ended tragically during the descent. Name this mountain, known to the Italians as Mount Servino. It's Mont Blanc, right? Uh, okay. Um... Mount Blanc, final answer. I'm oh, sorry, it's the Matterhorn. The Matterhorn. Yeah. Question six. This is the capital city of the province of South Holland and the seat of government in the Netherlands. Name it. Amsterdam, um, is that right? Amsterdam? Or no, uh, seat of government. It's got to be The Hague then. Because isn't that the seat of government in the Netherlands? Time. They, they like Time. Time. Oh, Give an answer, Connor. Uh, the Hague. Final answer. It appears that Mr. Reichel is frozen momentarily. Uh, Solomon <laughs> froze as well. That's the first time. All right, Mr. Reichel. Oh my. <laughs> That's all the answers. We were almost finished. <laughs> Um, oh, wait, Ruben's gone as well. And we welcome uh, our supervisor, Mr. Kendro. This is our first tech problem this evening. <laughs> you guys are all doing a great job. This is pretty neat to watch this being done virtually. So thank you for uh, competing this year. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Reichel has left. He's going to come back on, I hope. He had problems accessing us earlier, so he'll... Holman left, too. 
Okay. And Ruben. And Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> it's ahead of schedule, so that's good. He'll send me a text. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, um, as we told the other teams, one of the things that we're very excited about is getting to see you consult with one another. When you're on stage, we don't hear that because, you know, you cover them. This is really exciting to see how you work together. So we thank you for that. And we thank you for teaching your team the protocol of final answer. That really helps clarify it for us. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing from Mr. Reichel yet. <laughs> I, 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 hope it wasn't me. I hope it wasn't me. I, you know, I logged on and then caused the problem. <laughs> um, yeah. We were thinking it, Mr. Kendra, but none of us were going to say it. Yeah, I have Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, good work, Pro. Yeah, it's okay. We got it. Just asked him. It's crazy how three people froze at the same time. <laughs> Uh, oh, Solomon's back. I'm trying. There's a question from Mr. Van Bloom in the comments. Uh, yeah, my, my chat's not working. That's another thing. My power just stopped. <laughs> I'm yeah, working on it. Correct. Yeah. I don't know the answer. So is it everyone in like one area? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? So wait, did we pause or? Um, Mr. Reichel. Also, oh, okay. Hey, can you not get back in? Wait, could you hear what Connor said at the end? Or were you gone at that time? I heard him say, no, it's seat of government. And that's it. Yeah, I, I said seat of government. Answer, hey, what's the correct answer? answer? They didn't say they did something. something. It is fake, right? We didn't get the seat of government. They lost power. Oh, that's where the world court is. Walking back on and everything is coming back up. <laughs> that's unfortunate timing. Yeah. Right at the end. No, we were doing well as well. There he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. Wow. Is Ruben also gone? Yeah, yeah. We're, Ruben. we're still missing Ruben. Yeah. Mr. Reichel, we welcome you back. We need you. <laughs> we can't lose. <laughs> There's Ruben. There yep. That's the answers. So as soon as Mr. Reichel can uh, give us a microphone at the very least. <laughs> yeah, my power cut out for it. Yeah, so did Mr. Reichel. I'm pretty sure that Ruben and Mr. Reichel are not at the same house, though. <laughs> Okay. So, Mr. Reichel, if you can hear us, we can neither hear nor see you. If we can't see you, we can live with that. Oh, there you are. Welcome back. Hey, all right. Can you uh, tell go. us okay. if The Hague is the correct answer or not? The Hague was the correct answer, yes. Okay. I've got one more. Just one more. One more. We can do it. Nice, Connor. Are Thank we you. ready? We are. Yep. Okay. So you got that one right. When I left, you weren't you weren't going in the right direction. So well done. You saved the day. Okay. So we uh, we have. Hi, Kevin. It was going so well until then. You you <laughs> said. <laughs> okay. Last question. Sorry. Let's not be distracted. Here. Last question. Tough one. This short story writer, one of the first to be labeled a local colorist, satisfied Easterners' fascination with life out west in such stories as *The Outcast of Poker Flat* and *The Luck of Roaring Camp*. Name him. Uh, do we have a good guess? I don't have a good guess. Westerner. Okay, I'm gonna guess uh, Pushkin then. Okay. Time. Pushkin. Great story writer, right, but now it's uh, Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Hart. And that okay. completes the match. We got it in, luckily, for Walker. So yeah, we just lost power here. Bang! All the lights went yeah. out. 
Thank you. And stay on Walkersville. We're asking the other teams to come back right now so that we can announce our winners. All right, Ms. Miser. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ms. Nichols. We survived a power outage last match, so. Seriously? Well, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Mr. Reichel and two students. Yeah, Mr. Reichel has all the questions. Well, you know, I figured this year if it's gonna happen, it, it's just gonna happen. Yep. Like Murphy's Law is, you know, strong with 2021. <laughs> and we're still under the time limit, right? Yes, welcome back everyone. Thank you. Um, we think we found a new format that's going to serve us well. So I'd like to announce the winners of the match this evening. This evening, we have in third place, Thomas Johnson with three points. In second place, Tuscarora with four points. And in first place this evening for match two, Walkersville with 14 points. Thank you all, and we will see you next week. Nice playing, nice playing, and thank you for being patient.